All right, this is our 9090 hip lift from Hospital Restoration Institute. And we want to set up here with a surface that we can drag our heels down into and press into the wall. So because my bench has a little bit of space here, I've set up two blocks. I could easily just wear my shoes and go against the wall. Um, socks don't tend to work as well for this against the wall, obviously because they tend to slide a little bit. Um, so bare feet is another option as well, but you just want to make sure that you have a surface that you can press into and also drag your heels down into if possible. If not, you're just going to have to kind of keep that heel pressure against the wall pretty strong as you drag down, but we'll demonstrate all of that here in a minute. So this is 90-90 position because my knees are going to be at 90 degrees and for me this uh, bench is actually probably a little bit too low. I would want maybe a little bit higher into something like that but just for the purposes of the demonstration here we want to think 90 degrees with the knees 90 degrees at the hip okay from here i'm going to lie back and i'm going to place my hands on my ribs so i can kind of find where that bony prominence in the middle of my ribs are where they come together and go down just a little bit and then just set my hands and let them kind of slide off to the side and underneath my palms i should feel my ribs pretty firmly here so we're going to start with just a couple of breaths filling into the rib cage. So I should feel my belly rise slightly, but I should also feel my ribs expand laterally to the sides in my hands. And my elbows are just as wide as they need to be to feel comfortable on the shoulders. So we're going to take some breaths in through the nose, and then we're going to blow out through the mouth, kind of imagining we're either blowing through a straw or doing a, a, a long sigh. So here we go. We're going to do three breaths here. And I'm really going to extend that exhale until I feel the low abs kick on. Right into an inhale. Into the full rib cage, all the way out. So we get to the end this time, we feel our low back flatten against the floor. Try to keep that squeeze in position as you take your next inhale. Low abs are still on from the previous breath. And so with that, we've just learned how to brace and breathe both when we inhale and when we exhale. So now we're gonna add the layer of the feet into this, but we wanna know that that breath squeeze, the bracing both directions of inhale and exhale is the first step for this. Next, we're gonna, going to go into, assuming that I've already done my bracing and I'm nice and squeezed through my core, I'm going to press into the wall with my big toe knuckle, my fifth toe knuckle, and my heel. So we call that the tripod foot. It's what we consider a stable foot. So I'm going to find those three points. I'm going to press into the wall until I start to slide back just a touch. That's going to be enough pressure. And then I'm going to start to drag my heels down and I'm probably pretty uh, immediately going to feel my hips start to lift away from the floor. That's okay. Just keep it very slight, only lift maybe an inch, if that, and try and just kind of hover right above the floor. Okay, so as you're holding that downward pressure with the heels, pressing the feet into the wall, we're teaching our hamstrings how to engage and stabilize our pelvis while we breathe in a good stacked position with our rib cage over our pelvis. Okay, so we're gonna now put these together and we're gonna do five breaths. It's gonna be a bracing breath, inhale, exhale. I'm gonna maintain that while I go through my uh, foot pressure sequence. And then I'm just gonna lift slightly and hold that position as I breathe for five. Ready, here we go with the breath first. Long exhale, flatten that low back to the floor, feel the low abs kick on. Keep that squeeze as you inhale, pressing the feet into the wall, big toe knuckle, fifth toe knuckle, heel, and then dragging down as you exhale. Into the bench or dragging down against the wall. We feel those hips just hovering off the floor. Now we're gonna hold this position and breathe. Five breaths here. Each exhale, Re-establishing that forward pressure into the wall and the drag down. Hamstrings are working. 
Not too hard, but definitely enough to know that they're there. Try to keep the pressure the same on both feet. Last one. Keeping that keep hips up all the way to the end and then slowly down and we can relax there. All right, so this is our 90-90 hip lift and this is a great starting place for just getting the breathing and the hamstring stabilization through the pelvis uh, in a better place.